as this is for the link that I will do in a follow up later. There you go. So for those who still don't know me, my name is Tiago Fortunato. Uh -huh. I'm the sales manager with Villa Chateau and I'm based here in New York City. Um, so anything you guys need regarding our beautiful properties, I'm here for you. So I'm just going to start here with a quick intro on the brand. So for, we are a nonprofit association of luxury hotels and fine dining restaurants. And uh, we started in 1954 with an idea to showcase boutique hotels that share the same values of hospitality and amazing cuisine experience, of course. So back in 54, the first ground rules ever created uh, feature eight properties that linked Paris to the Côte d'Azur. And the idea was pretty much to, um, to make the Parisians drive and stop and always enjoy the hospitality and a meal in a way. Luckily enough, this was a great success. We have 500 over 500 hotels worldwide, and our mission is pretty much to transmit the uh, the most authentic authentic experience of the local destination to our clients. All right. So, if you're advantage of booking with us, we're Google Contact. You can always use me as your main contact for Reliant Chateau. We assist with itineraries from scratch, so we tailor made itineraries for our clients. And for every reservation made with Reliant Chateau, the commission is guaranteed, all right? So if you have any issues, uh, if it was booked with us, you can always email me and I will try to figure out a solution as well as possible for the hotels. All right, so here are the toll-free number, the email reservation for the reservation department here in New York. There's the GDS code, but if you have no access to the GDS right now, there's the website. So the relationship.com website. If you go in the bottom, there's the travel agent portal. You can go there, create your profile with your IATA number, and you should have access to all rates for all relationship to properties, all right? So if you're a virtuoso agency here today, you should see virtuoso um, rates there. Uh, if you're a signature as well, and if you're a preferred partner with us, you should see the complimentary breakfast offer there available for you as well. Okay, so I'm also promoting the Roots de Bonheur that I was mentioning in the beginning of the presentation. So we have now 138 total worldwide. Pretty sure the majority of your clients are staying more local, so you can also feature here by destination or themes. So as you can see here, we have one in um, Costa Rica and one in Mexico. Um, so when you click here on Discover, you'll see all the properties participating in this route, what you're going to find in a way, uh, the partnership that we have with Hertz. So this is just a really good tool so to give you inspiration and, of course, to um, make you understand where the properties are located. All right. So the app now for iPhone and Android as well. So this is just a good tool to have a, a list of all properties that we have worldwide. And... As I said, we have three properties in Costa Rica. All of them will be here today. And four properties in Mexico. Only two of them will be here today. And here's the contacts for the members that will be here. I'll be sharing all the contacts in a follow-up later. And my contact, Amy Goya on the West Coast. She's a superstar, so you can always email her if you're on the West Coast. And there's the, the Central Reservation Department uh, telephone number and the email address here as well. All right, this is pretty much for me. Um, I will, now I'm gonna pass here. Um, oh, actually here for Donna, I'm just checking here a few of questions. I'm gonna pass the word here for my dear Hasley, my new superstar. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Resort. Perfect. Thank you very much for that introduction, Diego. Mm -hmm. Give me one moment while I open the presentation. Perfect. So very nice to meet you. My name is Hesley Lara. I'm the sales manager of this beautiful property of Imanta Resorts. So let me tell you a little bit about Imanta. So I think it's really important to talk about the history of Imanta. This is a Mexican owned property. Our owner, he was very creative the way he um, actually discovered Imanta. This was in the eighties. Uh, very briefly, I'll tell you that he pretty much passed along uh, when Imanta was just pure lush. He was on a, actually on a boat. He jumped the boat, he swam to the land. He said, I, would, I have this vision of creating Imanta. Um, so that's what he did. He pretty much bought the property he started with this whole project and this was in the 80s and it opened in 2010. So most of the, what he wanted, the main vision of him was actually to do something very creative, but also protect a lot of the lush, a lot of the trees, 
the flora and the fauna that's surrounding them. And that's thing, I think that's super interesting as well. Um, most of the um, most of the rocks that were actually in Imanta are incorporated part of the architecture that you see, for example, the main building. This is something that I truly love because it looks when it rains, it looks pink, it looks very, very lush and, and it's a very nice touch to the architecture of the, of the resort and the vibe. Of it. So location, it's everything. We're just 45 minutes away from Puerto Vallarta Airport. Um, just a reference, we're right in the middle between Sayulita and Punta de Mita. We're located in a town called Higuera Blanca here in the state of Nayarit. So as you can see, we're pretty much in the, in the pure lush of the jungle of Nayarit. So inventory, we only have, uh, as I said before, we are Hotel Boutique. We only have a total of 10 suites, individual suites. They're divided by different types of views. We have, for example, five suites with jungle views, standard suites, jungle and ocean views. Super important, the square footage. They're very spacious, 1,900 square feet. And we also have the one bedroom suites with uh, private pools. These are very extensive private pools. They're not plunge pools. Um, they're at 2,500 square feet, and we have two amazing casonas, three bedroom casonas I'm going to show you a little bit about. So as I was saying, part of this whole creation of the owner was to create something that as soon as the client actually gets to Ima, that he feels he's surrounded by, by nature, by the jungle. And one of my favorite things actually is the rock. So he, part of Ima, there were a lot of rocks that were distributed, distributed around the property. So he inspired, he saw this rock, for example, and he said, you know what, we're not gonna move this rock, we're gonna turn it into a tub. So this is very subtle things that make a difference in Imanta. Uh, on the right, you're gonna see a picture of our bathroom. Uh, a lot of the essence, a lot of the trees that were actually cut down were turned into furniture and were actually inside the rooms. That makes it, again, part of the whole essence of Imanta. And this is, uh, I, that's kind of like the one bedroom suites that you saw, and this is one of our three bedroom casonas. This is a beautiful casona. This is 10,000 square feet, uh, one of the biggest pools. Uh, one of my favorite perks, you can see on the right, there's an outdoor, uh, outdoor tub, which is amazing. And it has one of the best views. It has a 360 view of the ocean and also the jungles. And after he finished doing Imanta, he said, I want something for me, obviously. So on the mountains of Imanta, he constructed what is called the tree house. So this is an amazing palapa. The first, actually the first bedroom that you see where the palapa is constructed, that's the main uh, bedroom. It has the option to be air conditioning. You can close it. And the second room is where the kitchen and also um, the living room is located. This is a 360 view of the ocean. It's amazing. Well watching here is perfect. And then the last, um, the last floor is another bedroom. This is, again, this does not have any walls. This is just perfect for probably a couple that wants to reconnect with itself, or it can be a couple with kids. Just keep in mind that the second bedroom does not have walls. Perks of the treehouse that I personally love, it has its own private beach. And not only that, we also have a natural waterfall that actually uh, makes a natural uh, three, uh, three, um, three, it, it constructs, the waterfall actually turns into a three level swimming pool. So this is very exotic and it's really fun. A lot of people love the treehouse because of this. So this is part of the month inventory as well. If you have any clients that are thinking about something secluded, this is the perfect space. And obviously being really in Chateau, not only the um, service and also the architecture is important, but the culinary experience as well. So we have two amazing restaurants, Jamaica restaurant, beach restaurant, and we also have Tukipa restaurant, which implement a lot of the um, very fresh seafood here that we have here in Nayarit, implement different flavors. Um, for example, we make our very own tortilla, which is corn that we get from a, a, a we have here. So it, these are very subtle touches that make a difference, especially in the corner experience. And the jungles. Part of the whole image of the owner as well was to construct something that was right in the jungle. So a lot of the guests actually love, and right now with the whole situation, having the jungle perfect for them. So we don't have to face anything that has to do, you know, with the, to be pretty much in, in a four structure type of installation. He wanted something that while you're receiving your massage, you can hear um, pretty much the ocean, you can hear the birds, you can hear the palm trees moving, the breeze. So that was super important for the owner as well. Well, the magic of Imanta, personally, I feel is the worth of the staff. 
You have Limon greeting all of your guests with a smile. You have my colleague Bibiana giving your clients uh, a selection of different types of organic soaps that we have. And to set off your afternoon in the observatory, you have Gabriel, that I personally love. So um, they're gonna be well-treated, all of your clients. And thank you very much again for your time. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I look forward to having a lot of your guests here. In Thank you, Hesley. I see everyone here so excited with the presentation. How could awesome. it Awesome. Uh, so here from Joyce Novick, like uh, what's the pricing point for Limoto? I didn't, I didn't get that, Diego, sorry. Can you repeat oh, no, it? Uh, what's the pricing point for a month, maybe like summer season? We have a special promo uh, for the standard jungle suites in the past. Uh, we're actually uh, doing a really nice promotion at this moment, fourth night free until 31st of October. And then in November, um, we have another, another price. Point. But at this moment, up until October, we have like $5.95 per night and a fourth night free promotion. That is actually part of the Relay in Chateau. Wonderful, wonderful. So here from Jenna. Um, so does the tree house only sold as a whole unit? Yes. Tree oh. house, yes, mm -hmm. as, as a whole unit because of the perks that it has. It's just really important also to specify. The tree house is just like four or five minutes away, um, driving distance with golf cart from the property. But they can make use of the property as well. Okay. And then how do the guests access to the beach? Like how far is it? It's just, I would say three minutes away. Let's, let's, for example, the image that you're seeing right here, right next to it, I would say three minutes, the furthest suite that we have, it's just walking distance, three minutes max. It's a good <laughs> not, workout. Not a bad walk. <laughs> <laughs> so here from Morrissey, so when um, you will be open, are you open right now? We are open right now. We are uh, currently receiving, um, most of our guests at this moment have been um, the Mexican market. They, uh, we've been giving a lot of apapacho, which means like giving love to the soul. So, um, so yeah, they, they've been great. We've received uh, just, they're starting to uh, clients from the US, et cetera. But once they arrive, they love it. They actually say like with this whole situation, they, they wanted to reconnect with nature. So, so yeah. All right. So let me go here to the chat. So I see here Aida saying that she loved the property. Mauricio is saying best regards for you. Thank you. Um, so here from um, Caitlin, so the destination. I, I've actually been just trying to look for some questions here from Limore. Hi, Limore. Nice to see you here again. Um, so how um, do you have any minimum of night, uh, for example, for the pastite looking? Do we still have space? For at this moment, we don't have any minimum nights until festive. Uh, festive uh, is pretty much from 19th all the way up to January 2nd. This is, we, we used to have a seven night minimum. At this moment, we lowered it to a five night minimum. Um, for the tree house, it's the old we're asking. This has been always, it's a three night minimum stay. But besides that, we do not have any minimum stay for any of our suites and, and rooms. So assuming you, you have availability for festive. We have, it's interesting that you're saying this because we have just a little, you get a flexibility um, still, but I mean, our 50% is two of our casonas taken and three rooms. Okay. <laughs> um, client can actually, agents can take full advantage of the property and do an amazing buyout for a big family or a BEP client, or you can be very creative with the property as well in that sense. Perfect, perfect. So here from Aida, do you offer room service and are your signature? Room service. Are your signature? No? no, we're not signature. We are um, virtuoso. We're okay. just about to turn traveler me and travel leaders. Okay, all right. So don't worry, Aida. We always will be trying to adjust any special text with Hasley for you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so here uh, from Elizabeth, what's the best way to get to the resort? Um, Best way to get to the resort. Like in um, terms of flights and logistics. I don't know if you mentioned that in the beginning. Um, no, absolutely. Uh, as in location, we're just 45 minutes away from Puerto Vallarta Airport. Well, mm -hmm. As in transportation, we do have a transportation service that is actually uh, the logistic is through our guest experience team, our concierge. They, um, as soon as you have a client that actually make the reservation, we offer this service, obviously with a quote, and it's pretty smooth, therefore. From oh. there on. All right. So can you talk a little bit of cancellation policy? 
or COVID yes, time? <laughs> absolutely. Uh, cancellation policy in the past used to be um, 30 days prior before the arrival. At this moment, we lowered it down so clients as well as our guests feel a little bit safer. We did 15 days prior to the arrival. At this moment, it's um, non-refundable, but uh, it's been very nice because, for example, our Mexican market at this moment, if they cancel, what we did is if they have any sanitary reasons, if they have, you know, because of their flight, and, uh, they couldn't fly because, I don't know, situation right now with the airlines, it's a little bit complicated. So what we did was an extension, depending on the certain time of the, the frame, we did an extension up to the 15th of December so they can postpone their, their stay. So they wouldn't, you know, let go of their, of their deposit, let's put it that way. So we've well, been, yeah, we try flexible. to be as flexible as possible. Good, good. So here uh, from Leticia, so maybe you can just repeat the price range. I don't think, I don't think she was in the room. Yes, no worries. The standard jingle suite at this moment, we have, it's $5.95 plus taxes and service charge. And we have, uh, this is a standard jungle suite, as I said. Um, we have the fourth night promotion at this moment as well, all the way up to before November. So you oh. can take full advantage of that. And for next year, just so you know, um, starting after January 5th, we have the fourth night promotion all the way up to summer. So you have a lot to play with, guys. All right. So I have time for three more questions. You guys are awesome. so excited here. So uh, let good. me check here. So Caitlin, so uh, is Imatos a good destination from active guests or from all guests that are looking for relaxation? I, um, I would say for both because we've had guests that are very, for example, we have an amazing ocean view hike. So we've had guests that are very active. The property, as I said, it's, uh, I describe it as raw luxury because it's constructed with a lot of rocks. So if you have the only thing I always recommend is if you have any clients that have uh, low mobility, just be careful with that. But if they're, if they're looking for a place to reconnect, to relax, this is the place, or if they want to be adventurous, I mean, it's, a hundred acres, my friends. So they can pretty much walk all around the property. They're going to see different types of flora and fauna, coatis. So, and the whale watching season is just around the corner. So we have just the best whales hanging out in our beach. Nice, nice. What's the cost for the airport transfer? For the transportation, I think it's between, if I'm not mistaken, give me one moment. It's between 200, one way, if I'm not mistaken. And if it's round trip, I think it goes a little bit down. But I, I don't want to say something that I'm not sure. So it's in pesos, it's like 3,120 pesos at this moment, just oh. for one way from airport to the hotel. All right. And how far is the closest town? And uh, so they can go out for a night out. Awesome. I love this. OK, so the closest town that we have, and it's actually one of the locals' favorites, called Sayulita. This is a magical, they call it magical town has a big mixture of different types of cultures. You're going to find Canadians, Americans, people. It's, it's like a Bohemian chic town, right? And it has a really nice mixture, for example, of our Huchol culture, which is our indigenous culture that we have here. And guests really love it because of that. It's a small town, but it has a lot of life. So that's one, and it's just 15 minutes away. If they want something different, as in culinary experience, we have Punta Mita that has grown enormously with different types of culinary options as well. And that's yeah. just 10 minutes away, approximately, as well. All right. So maybe just like two more questions here, guys. I need to move on. So I know you guys are so excited with Amanda. I will also like share Hasley context so you maybe can just like ask the questions later. Yeah. Um, so maybe you can just talk a little bit more pro about protocols for cleaning and stuff frequently. I think they're tested and masked. We, we are doing constantly, obviously all the staff, as soon as you arrive, for example, um, the staff has to be, um, they have to be checked well regularly. And not only that, most of the staff that we had before going back into the working station we had to make tests and not only that we also had to be reinsured that they did the proper protocols of staying in their house instead of doing you know if they travel and stuff like that we were very meticulous in that option upon arrival our guest experience team every one of our staff is always wearing a mask except me because i'm in the office right now but we're all constantly wearing a mask they actually said for example uh, most of the guests they're scared of uh, before their arrival, mask, mask. And I've seen guests that say, I'm not gonna take it off. And they're around here and it's open space. Each one of the suites, another cool thing is each one of the suites 
has, it's not interconnecting. So each one of the suites, even being a standard suite, its own space. So they feel very comfortable taking off their mask. We're constantly, as soon as there's a guest leaving, we have to sanitize and do a clean, deep cleaning as well in, the, in each one of the suites. So I feel like we're doing a very nice job. And also the tourism board has been very, uh, has been very supportive in the way they're doing things and, and keeping us in line with the, all the protocols. Perfect, perfect. So this is for my dear Christina. This will be the last questions, guys. So in, uh, for the tree house, what's the occupancy during the high season? And maybe like, uh, can I talk about rates? Okay, absolutely. As per rates, the tree house is one of the, um, as, as I said, being one of the uh, perks of having its own beach. I mean, having your own natural waterfall that turns into a three level pool and all the amenities that we have for the tree house. Um, privacy has a lot to do. So we've had a lot of high end uh, celebrities. This has a rate of 4,500 plus plus per night. Um, it's a, a lot of uh, agents say this is very high, but then if you think about a client that really wants that sense of privacy, I think it's really good. It's perfect for a couple. I won't suggest perfect for maybe children, probably, but just keep in mind that the second bedroom, it doesn't have any walls. It's a little bit more open if it's, and it's actually really good during winter season just so they don't suffer with the heatness because here in Ayari, well, we have a lot of humidity and, and it's sunny vibes. So a lot of the people from place that actually, a lot of you guys that actually come from New York or colder places might have a hard time dealing with the weather. All right, so maybe after, if you can just like uh, send me like some photos on the tree house and Absolutely. share like um, on the email with all of you guys. Uh, do you have parking available just for the We record? do have complimentary ballet parking. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. Wonderful. All right. Um, everyone here is making you work really hard. So I many know. questions, I love guys. That. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for the presentation. Now I'm just going to move too. on to Absolutely. Tequila. Claudia Medina, are you there? there you Hi, go. how are you? <laughs> good, good, Claudia. So I'm going to share my screen here because we're going to start with the video, correct? Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm Claudia Medina from Tequila, so it's a pleasure to present our property, though, so it's very special about. Yeah, it's okay. Thank Perfect. you. <laughs> Let me just put on full screen here, and um, yeah, enjoy, guys. El mundo cambió. Sin embargo, la vida sigue siendo un lugar lleno de experiencias únicas y memorables. En Hotel Solar de las Ánimas, volvemos a abrir nuestras puertas para atenderte con la calidez y el compromiso que nos caracterizan. Esta vez, cuidando más que nunca de ti. Hoy, el lujo y la tradición que habita en nuestros muros se combina con los más altos estrictos protocolos de seguridad e higiene. Antes y durante tu estancia, cada detalle es cuidado y supervisado minuciosamente para que puedas entregarte a la magia y el placer que habita en cada uno de nuestros rincones. Ven, abre tu espíritu a la belleza y déjate seducir por la nueva y mejorada versión de nosotros mismos. Es momento de volver a hacer planes. Estamos listos para recibirte. Hotel Solar de las Ánimas. Medidas seguras. Vacaciones felices. Ay, 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 muy bueno. Estoy encantado. <laughs> All right. So uh, I just actually unshared my screen here so you can start uh, with your presentation. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So ready, can you see it? Uh, yes. Yes, okay, thank you. So how you see that the hotel is small, but we have a lot of things to offer you to have uh, the good vacations uh, in a few days or a week. Uh, just if you wanna go for the honeymoon or if you wanna go uh, with your friends, you can have a, a good, good time with us. So we're located uh, like uh, 37 miles away from the, the city of Guadalajara. So we are so so near 
you can go uh, between an airport to take an, or rent a car and you can go to, to Tequila Town. And it's like uh, the airport to the, to the town is like an hour and 45 minutes or approximately. So uh, you can, you can go, so, uh, uh, sorry, with a, with a different kind of, of ways to, to move to Guadalajara. So if you, for example, go to Imanta, you can go first to, to Tequila and then take another, another trip to, to Imanta. So we can, we can, so near. We have uh, 93 rooms. So this is the, the rooms, you can see it in the video. So all the, all the rooms are the same, just the particularity is uh, if you have a master king or if you need a double room. So it's, a, it's the same. We have a concierge service, we have a pool, uh, three areas for the, for the meals. For example, we have the terrace of the Antigua Casuna restaurant. It's a Mexican uh, meal. So you can tasting a tequila or tasting a, the typical torta ahogada. I don't know if, if you know about this. So it's a, the most important food in, in tequila. And then we have a Chucho Reyes bar. This is an, a special bar because we have a, a lot of pictures of the, uh, this artist. So uh, you can see a, a cork or you can see all the, the pictures that, that he did in, in Guadalajara. Then we have the Sky Bar. The Sky Bar is our special uh, bar. You can see the, the jacuzzi. You can take a drink and watching all the, the view of, of tequila. You can see the volcanoes of tequila. Um, we have uh, the, the gym near from the bar. One is Pa Cabin and the um, and you can taste a lot of, of variety of that that we offer of tequila cocktails. So it's so so amazing. To stay with us in the in the hotel. For example, uh, turning to the to the rooms, this is the the rooms that we have. Uh, for example, we have the double deluxe room, and we have uh, their uh, bathtub. So you can take a, a good uh, relaxing time taking a tequila or taking a, a cup of wine. So all the, the spaces that we have, it's amazing, so comfortable. We offer all the amenities of the L'Occitane products. Um, we have a, a coffee machine in the, in the rooms. So if you don't have to, or you don't want to, to take a day off of the, of the room, you can stay all the day there and you can passing a, a good uh, time there with us. And we have two um, spaces for the meetings. So if you have an event or you want to, to do something special in, the, in our meeting rooms, you can do it. So this is all the, the facilities that we offer at Tequila. About the, for example, about the, the activities that you can do, uh, we offer, for example, a tour of our distillery or a tour with uh, at the train of Jose Cuervo Express. So it's amazing because you can visit all the town. The town is small, so it's small, and all the people are so warm with a with a person that visit the, the town. And it's important to to say that we are an special. Um, Magic Town Intelligent. This is a uh, new here in Mexico because we have we have the, the the offer of internet in the in the center of the town. Uh, all the particularities of the of the town is uh, a lot of of angels. So you can see um, it's like a little a little cars that you can move around of the of the town or you can go to the agave field. So you can do a lot of things in, to know how about the process of tequila and you can have a, a really good time. The other things that we offer too is, for example, if you uh, rent a car, you can uh, put it on in the hotel 
or um, you can go in and bus. So we have a, a lot of uh, facilities that you can stay with us. So this is a, um, our hotel. I don't know if you have any doubt. We are uh, right now uh, open like a uh, 15%. We hope that in the few months we can open the totally hotel. So we are for for your visit here with us. So this is our hotel Solar de las Animas. Thank you so much. Any Gloria. any doubt about our hotel? Perfect. Muchas gracias. Let me check here. I actually have a few questions. So Maria is just saying she loves the hotel and the video. So if you can share, actually they have the video. So I can uh, just send me an email, Catherine, and I will be sharing with you so you can share with your clients. Indeed, it was a lovely video. So from Limor here, what's the average length of stay for international guests? Sorry, it's like uh, the, the sound is not good. Uh, so what's the average length of stay for international guests? Um, how many nights would you recommend? Uh, the, the average is uh, like uh, $3,200 $3, for uh, this stay. We offer the break each stay. Okay, but like how many nights would you recommend uh, for an international guest to stay in a property? Like two nights, three nights? Um, how, how long would they need to enjoy the destination in the hotel? Um, one or two nights to stay. Yeah. Maybe you can just repeat because yeah, the sound just, was good. Uh, one or two nights. You can stay a week, so really. Um, I hear. <laughs> I'm here. But you can stay uh, like uh, a week, the weekend, for example. It's one or two or two days, or you can stay more days, for example, four days. So we don't offer uh, a lot of activities because it, the town is so small. But in, if you stay in a weekend, it's a good time to to spend with us. Okay, wonderful. So Maurice is just saying best regards for you here. He's very impressed with what you guys has been accomplished. Uh, how far is the hotel from uh, San Miguel de um, Allende? Allende? Allende. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's in Guanajuato. I think that we are like, uh, I don't know, I'm not very sure, but I think like uh, for, for hours kind of. It's four hours about driving? Kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. So would, would you offer like transfers if the class clients want us to go there? Uh, yeah, we can offer the transfer for the airport to, to Tequila and the back. So uh, the, the rate is kind of $2,200 approximately. It depends the, the kind of the transfer that you need. Okay, perfect. I know the hotel is open, which is a great thing. So can you just share a little bit of like the experience, like what have been going on in the last few weeks? Um, can you share with us? The, the sorry what? I mean, I know the hotel is open. So what can you share with us in terms of like COVID uh, protocols, like the guests with required uh, yeah. to wear masks? I don't know if you can see it in the video. So the, we we offer that all of our people are with the protection, especially to don't take the the package of the of the people or clean it with the special products that is safe. We know that when you go to to tequila, you have to to take the airport and everything is over the airport. It's a lot of of virus, and, and we don't have we don't want to. To, to scare about it. We try to, to make all the, the travel safe. So at the, at the check-in, you can receive it, especially the, the check-in card and everything. The, for example, we are using the QR, uh, uh, the QR to the, to the restaurant. So the menu you can download uh, with, the, with the QR. So this is better because we don't have to use paper. Um, for example, the the breakfast we used to offer the, uh, with the buffet. So right now 
we just offered uh, everything uh, just in a in a certain a personal service sorry so mm -hmm. everything is protected so you can be safe with us in our in, in right. your in your stay with us yeah Perfect. All right. It's actually uh, Mauricio and Alan here in the room just saying the drive between Tequila and, and San Miguel is about five hours. Um, just um, so everyone know in the room. All right. Mm -hmm. I think I covered all of the questions here. Um, Claudia, thank you so much for the presentation. It's so nice to have you guys here bringing all the updates um, in Tequila. Um, so yes. we're going to move on uh, to Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Um, Hi, so everyone. For, for presenting. Thank you. El Silencio Lodge. So guys, just so you know, I just came back from Costa Rica and I was visiting both properties there and everything is working wonderfully well. So Jennifer, whenever you're ready to start. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you for having us. So we're moving down to Costa Rica, just the um, central part of America. So. Um, I will begin here explaining about our airports. In Costa Rica, we have two international airports. One is San Jose, one is Liberia. So El Silencio Lodge is located just an hour away from the San Jose airport. We recently, maybe 15 days ago, finished our new road all the way down to the hotel. So I think when Tiago visited us, it, it was still not um, working. But now we have a paved road all the way to the hotel, which um, puts us just an hour away from the International Airport of San Jose. So this is an excellent first stop for your guests once arriving to the country um, for, to begin their Costa Rican experience. And the recommended time of stay with us is at least three nights, I would say, because it's a place that invites to relax and enjoy the silence. But at the same time, it invites to be active and do some of the ac amazing activities that we have there. And I also like to take this um, this slide to explain who we connect well with. So most of our guests after visiting El Silencio will gateway up to the Arenal area where the other Hawaiian Chateau Hotel is, which is joining us in this presentation. So the drive up to Arenal is approximately two hours. And after that, they can gateway to the beach, either to the Guanacaste area or to the Central Pacific coast here, or even towards Caribbean where Tiago visit. So um, it's a very um, nice combination. Also, you can also do the hotel and just connect with directly to the beach. That's another option. So we're four hours away from Guanacaste and four hours away from Manuel Antonio. The hotel is located in between two national parks. Um, this is an aerial picture of our property. It's a total of 24 rooms. And we're surrounded by all these green and beautiful mountains. Um, we're actually the only hotel located in Bajos del Toro. So it's a very remote um, experience as well. And I think now in days, this is more and more work, what guests are seeking, you know, to be more isolated. So it's a 500 acre private property where the hotel sits and just 24 rooms. So we have a lot of landscape. Altitude is 4,500 feet and temperatures between 50 and 70 Fahrenheit. So this is a cloud forest experience. It tends to be very cool and nice. Sometimes I, at night it gets a little bit chilly. So we have fireplaces and we have some rooms with even the fireplace. So um, it's completely a cloud forest experience and very different from the rest of the country. This is also an area well known for the amazing circuit of waterfalls that it has. So there are waterfalls on property and outside of property with even blue water. So it's also part of that experience. We have a concept of eco concierge at the hotel and they are the host. So they receive our guests upon arrival and brief them on all the activities they can do during their stay at the hotel. If they have something pre-purchased that will also be explained to them. And we have in our lobby area, like five different lounge settings. So check-in is done in a private way here. 
And Echo Concierge are also in charge of taking care of their spa reservations, restaurant reservations, and they also accompany them on the, on the tours. They're actually the guides as well. All our rooms are independent rooms as the one you can see here. They have, what we sell is a immersion in nature. They're very private. This is one of our suites. We have a total of 16 of them. They feature a king size bed, a double sofa bed and a small dining area. They can accommodate either a couple or three adults or two adults and two small children. Although these rooms are mostly booked by couples. They have a beautiful terrace facing the cloud forest, and they also have installed a heating system, Wi-Fi, top of the line amenities, and they also feature a hot tub. Okay, we also have multi-bedroom accommodations. So this is our two-bedroom suite, ideal for families. They feature a king and two queen beds, and they also have a outdoor jacuzzi. For families um, with larger groups traveling together, we have our villas. And this is a home away from home concept. It has a living dining room area, also features the jacuzzi. And in addition, they have a fireplace. These units can sleep up to six people. Our new addition recently opened in May are our Riverside Villas where Tiago stayed recently with us. They have also a beautiful dining and living room area. As you can see, the architecture is very modern. This is our top of the line villas right now. They also feature the fireplace. They have the master bedroom with the king size bed, its own jacuzzi and bathroom. And the secondary room has two queen beds, its own jacuzzi and bathroom as well. Ideal for families, of course, but also for groups of friends traveling together. We have an outdoor dining area and in all our rooms, we can service breakfast, lunch, or dinner, <clears throat> or they can even hire the chef to go and cook for them. These are part of the services that we have available. Of course, being really in Chateau, the gastronomic experience also has to be top of the line. This is our restaurant, Las Ventanas, with view to the forest. It's on the riverside. And we have an amazing chef. He's Belgian and had his own one-star Michelin restaurant back in Belgium. And he's brought together our concept from the harvest to the table in a very unique um, menu and experience to our guests. So we have our harvest, we have our own trout on premises as well. And we bring very fresh um, organic products to our menu. Our Riverside Gazebo is our offer for a more intimate experience, dining experience. It holds up to eight people. We can also service um, romantic settings for couples for lunch or dinner. Toto Bohemia is our bar, um, has a great variety of wines. We have a fantastic mixologist and very good um, tapas for our drinks here. Then we have our wellness um, sales point, one of our strong selling points actually. Um, we have our Essencia Spa with also very unique and different treatments. It's actually quite an experience. Most of our guests, I, I can almost say every, every one of our guests goes to our spa. So this is our conic room. It's um, our most popular room for treatments and ideal for couples as well. And we also integrate our organic products into some of our treatments here. <laughs> nice, Diago. <laughs> we have our yoga, complimentary yoga services uh, for our guests three times a week. We have aerial yoga and kids yoga also. And meditation classes. So El Silencio has a lot of activities that we host here right at the hotels. Clients don't have to even leave the hotel to be able to do these. So on premises, we have three amazing waterfalls. Um, this is one of them, La Promesa. It's something that guests can do self-guided or they can hire the guide. And we also have a mystic hike, which is complimentary to our guests every day at 11 and it's guided. For those that are more adventurous, we have rappelling and zip lining for them. There's also cooking classes with our chef 
There's horseback riding tours. We also have cultural tours. Um, this is Doña Olga's house down in the town of Toro, And we offer some cooking classes there. We also have Oscar painting with two of our eco concierge and coffee, wine, beer, tasting at the bar and cocktail classes. Now, all these activities have an additional cost, which I will be sending out the information with Diago to you. And we recently incorporated our mountain bikes, which are complimentary to our guests. And we now have e-bikes as well. Okay, we are a sustainable hotel and part of a being in Costa Rica and being so sustainable in every, you know, every corner of our country. We join this effort and we share it with our guests. So we invite our guests to plant a tree. And a few months later, we'll send them a picture of their tree. So this is something that our guests always cherish very much. Costa Rica has done very well controlling the virus. Um, we're 5 million residents. And as of today, we only have 1,108 deaths. So our mortality rate is really low. And we have been um, opening our borders um, softly from August the 1st. We started with the European and Canadian travelers. Then a few states in September from the US, and October we did more and opened up to Mexico and Jamaica. And now as of the 1st of November, we'll be opening up to the entire US. So we're ready here to, to receive our your guest. In terms of COVID protocol, um, we have everything running smoothly. The hotel has been operating since May 16. And being so close to San Jose, we have a lot of local um, guests um, visiting the hotel. So uh, this is running actually smoothly. Our staff is completely trained using masks. We're deep cleaning every 20 minutes, common areas, of course, deep cleaning rooms. We have QR codes for the restaurant, for tours and um, spa services as well. And um, just to sum up what's included, breakfast is included. We also have our rates for half board and full board available. Uh, Mystic Hike is included, the yoga classes, and a welcome beverage. Transportation is also available. Pricing from the San Jose Airport is $130 one way, and we can service this to your guests as well. And we have also flexible cancellation policies. Uh, three days or more, there's no penalty. We understand that the industry needs to do these efforts to be able to confirm new booking. So in the meantime, until things recover a little bit more, this is what, this is the policy that we're managing. And that will be for travel for 2020 and 2021. Our starting pricing points are from $460 up to $950 for our um, Riverside Villa. And we currently have availability as well for festive 2020. There's also some very great specials for 2020 and 2021 that I will be sharing with you as well. So um, we, to end our presentation, just mentioned we are part of Virtuoso, Traveler Made, and Signature as well. And um, thank you all for joining us and Tiago for setting this up. Thank you so much, Jenny, for your presentation is like really amazing. You just answer like all of the questions that I have in mind here. So thank you so much for bringing all of these updates. My husband, my back here, doesn't let me lie. I mean, he's really like relaxing. He was meditating the whole time. And like uh, the highest selling point that I would say about also Lane, so it is the spa. So if you're there, you have to try the spa. It is one of the most fantastic experiences that I ever had. Um, it's, as Jennifer said, I mean, and actually, actually I was mentioning to Hasley before, um, the best feeling was I was totally forgetting the mask in the room when I was there. So it was a really good uh, feeling of just disconnecting from like the whole reality that we're living right now. So definitely is a good destination for your client. So thank you so much, Jennifer. Let me just go here a quick uh, so I can have a few questions. So hear from Leticia. So I think you also answered uh, about security offered to it, um, the isolation, so COVID protocols uh, you mentioned on the presentation. Um, so how is the road to Arenal? I mean, if you can just talk about like um, 
the roads for Arenal is in a very good, I would say fairly good condition. Um, roads in Costa Rica are very narrow and windy because this is there's a lot of mountain area, but the road is an easy drive. Um, I always recommend because both Arenal and El Silencio are destinations that guests can arrange for their tours and transportation is always included. So a rental car is really not needed or required, but um, if they decide to rent a car, because I understand some guests do prefer that, um, we can also, uh, what I would recommend is um, to drive during the daytime, at least before four o'clock to arrive to their destination. And we do have the GPS and it works perfectly here in the country. So it's an easy drive, two hours. True, true. I think it's a little less. I mean, I was really surprised when I was doing the drive and I was thinking about like an hour and a half. Um, it, was, it was really an easy drive and I highly recommend just to hire a transfer driver to just like go relaxed and enjoy um, the views because it's really fantastic. So yeah, definitely you should do El Silencio first and then go to Nevada Spring after and do more activities. It's definitely a good plan. Uh, thank you so much, Jennifer. I think I cover all of the questions here. Your presentation is really great. So I'm pretty sure everybody <laughs> got really uh, with all questions answered. So I'm gonna move on here to Connie. Connie, are you there? Hi. Buda Vida. <laughs> Guys, uh, we're almost like running out of time here, but I got really excited about this. This is a really good webinar for you. And I think you should just definitely stay with us until the end. Hi, Connie. So whenever you're ready. <laughs> I am having a hard time to hear. Your your voice is like really low. Like really low? Really yes. Low? We cannot. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, real... Yeah, it's like very, very low. It's not your voice at all. Um, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like one of those, like, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm still having a hard time to hear you. So <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the, the voice is exactly Jenna. <laughs> it's like a witness protection voice. Like, <laughs> it's very, very loud. <laughs> oh. Let's see. I am. No, it's not better. It's just, it's just, yeah, it's still the same. Thing. Give me a second. Give me one second. All right, all right. So, um, maybe, yeah, I think maybe you should log out and log back in. Uh, guys, I really apologize about this. So, so for those who need to go, I completely understand. I will be um, sharing the link of the presentation um, later today. Um, so if you have to go, we really understand. Um, hi, David. How are you? So nice to see you here. Um, so Connie. What about now? Oh, yes. Now I can hear you. It's <gasps> totally you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, these are the, the call center situation. I just like, yeah. Uh, okay. So <laughs> let's get started. I'm so sorry, guys. Apologize for all the mess up. Um, just let me know if you can all see my screen. Just yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You just have to put them. Yeah, perfect. Now. All okay. right. Um, okay. So picking up a little bit from uh, where Jennifer left off, uh, one thing that I think is important to uh, remind you is that um, in addition to being open for all 50 states on November 1st, we are also part of the um, pre-test programs with JetBlue and American Airlines. So the companies are kind of taking care and arranging for the test, which is one of the requirements to come into Costa Rica. Uh, so that's worth um, checking out. Okay, so um, talking about Nayara, we are a collection of uh, three properties. Today we're going to be talking about Nayara Gardens and Nayara Springs, which are our two 
to Relayan Chateau um, resorts. And we are kind of your next stop when you're planning your trip to Costa Rica. So you're arriving in San Jose, you go to El Silencio, and then you stop in La Fortuna. The main difference here is that La Fortuna is all about activities, it's all about outdoors. So we are really, really close to the Arenal Volcano that is giving us access to thermal waters, which is a huge plus for us. And then you have all sorts of activities within probably 30 minutes, 40 minutes from the hotel, from uh, the lake, the waterfalls, the hanging bridges, zip lining. It's a very, very active destination and it's a very outdoor destination. So this is something very important for you to keep in mind when you're sending clients our way. We can arrange for all the activities. Um, we do have our own uh, tour guides. We have our own cars and everything. So if you're thinking about safety and, and how secluded, and now Tiago arrived into the Arenal region over there. Um, if you're thinking in terms of that, just rest assured that we take care of all the protocols. We can uh, provide transportation and activities just for your client's own social bubble, and they go with our own tour guide, and everything is um, taken care of. So a little bit of history about us. 2007, we started with uh, Nayara Gardens, with um, the Casita Deluxe, our entry level. By 2019, we were a 50-room hotel, and we became part of Rillian Chateau. With Nayara Springs, we kind of developed a different concept and we want it to be adults only so it's a completely different vibe uh you can feel it as soon as you walk in there's more privacy it's more kind of a grown-up situation there um i really like it it's, you can feel that they're different even though they're connected and they are next to each other so with nayara springs we have 35 villas and we became really in 2017 this um, can give you an idea of how the resorts are um, next to each other and are connected to each other. So up here on, on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see Nayara Gardens. This is where we have all 50 rooms. And here you see the bridge that connects Nayara Gardens and Nayara Springs. Right here, you have all 35 villas. Um, a few things to notice on this image. Um, every single room that we have in Nayara is a standalone unit. So you have full privacy, you're surrounded by gardens, you're surrounded by green. Um, it's all about nature and, and relaxing and reconnecting. And then um, isolation, we are built for social distancing, so which is kind of great in this time and era. Um, about our rooms. So we start with our entry level, casitas. They're very spacious and comfortable. Here we can place an additional bed. Something to, to keep in mind about our rooms is that they all have balconies, they all have the jacuzzis outside, and they do have indoor and outdoor showers. Um, this is one of my favorite rooms. I like it because it has a, a very um, different shape. It's an octagonal shape, and they have this huge bathroom in the back where you have dual indoor and outdoor showers, which is great. Um, when we became part of Rillian Chateau in 2019, the main thing that we needed to upgrade was our restaurant and our reception area. So now we have a really nice ambience and change. And this is La Terraza, uh, which we included our bar where we do our welcome cocktail and our meet and greet with the, with the management. Um, we serve breakfast, lunch and dinner here. Then we also have our wine bar and we have a sushi place in Nayara Gardens as well as the swim up bar. Crossing the bridge to Nayara Springs is where we have the adults only. All the suites here in Nayara Springs are exactly the same. So you have a king size, four posters, you have indoor and outdoor shower, but the main amenity is the planche bowl. So the good thing about being next to a, an active volcano is that we have thermal waters and we bring that water into the property and each villa has its own pool fed by natural hot springs. So you can just roll out of bed, order breakfast, room service, set it up on your balcony, your terrace, and just jump in the pool, which is kind of of the all the activity that Tiago did while he was here, <laughs> like rolling sure. out of bed, ordering room service, and just being in the pool, which is great. That's what we want. Um, normally, our guests tend to stay three nights in Nayara Gardens, but for Nayara Springs, it's normally four nights or more. 
the main reason is that couples really save just one day to spend at, in the room, just relaxing at the pool, doing the spa, and then going back to the room. So we noticed that there's a different kind of um, a style of vacation and enjoying the resort here. Fine dining on Nayara Springs. This is a more local. We're very proud of this um, restaurant. The Purple Velvet Works is in the middle of the rainforest, but as soon as you walk in, you feel like you're in some kind of 1950 glamorous Hollywood movie. Uh, we also have outdoor um, seating here for lunch. And then Mis Amores, which is more of a Latin bistro, very relaxed and all um, all the restaurant is open. So um, even though we continue to have, you know, the, the space between the tables and everything is all open um, air. And then we have the swimmer bar, which is a very popular spot for people that are coming back from activities around four or five, and they're sitting here and just enjoy a drink before going for dinner. <clears throat> Cafecito is where we blend uh, a little bit of culture from Costa Rica. So we have coffee and chocolate and we have gelatos and things like that in here. And then something that we added and is now accessible for all the guests at Nayara Resorts is the thermal pools that we put um, in the new area of the resort. Here is six huge pools, natural, uh, that we built, as you can see them within the trees. So you're there and you can see the monkeys, you can see the slots. Um, it's a lot of peace up there. Um, it's just an amazing, an amazing um, area that we, we develop. Um, wellness, of course, we have the spa, all the pavilions are open. We also offer complimentary yoga every morning um, that's available for all our guests. Here is our team of tour guides. Like I said, we have some activities that are um, within the resort, like bird watching in the morning or the night walk for the frogs. Uh, but there's also a team that is available to you and to, to your clients so that they can go out and do all the activities. Um, some experiences as well that are having to do with uh, private dining or wine pairing, um, cocktail classes, things like that that we can also put together for those that really are not into adventure and they want to stay at the resort. So they have, we have plenty of things for them to do. Um, here you can see our GDS and we're also part of um, Virtuoso Signature FHR and Nayara Springs is part of uh, Travel and Made. Um, the one thing that uh, we wanted to share with you guys is that we are uh, putting together, uh, well, with Jennifer, we're putting together a nice uh, package. So we are going to be offering a stay for pay three at both properties, just exclusive for this Reliant Chateau webinar, this Reliant Chateau attendees. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we kind of really like you, Tiago. Oh. <laughs> of course we do. It's really very special. Um, <laughs> and so we, we, you're going to be able to combine and put together the perfect itinerary, um, a lot of adventure, a lot of outdoors, but also being able to combine it with uh, the relax and, and, you know, the wellness and in the spa so um doing a little bit of that we put our thinking hats together with jennifer and we decided to kind of um so we're going to be sending you the flyer so you can send it for the follow-up um and everyone is going to be able to um book that and just yeah perfect thank you so much connie for the presentation it's indeed i highly recommend to combine both properties to have like the best of costa rica i would say the pura vida experience um so i have a couple of questions here so uh, so here uh let me just go back here to the chat to the q a so uh may guess and nayara springs can use the restaurants and nayara garden uh yes the main thing is that everyone staying in nayara springs can use all the facilities your guests, your clients that are staying in Nayara Gardens, as long as they are over 17 years old, are also welcome to use all the facilities in Nayara Springs. That's a key component, the age. Okay, so I actually have it here from Vicky. Vicky actually, uh, and, um, bring this question yesterday sorry about this uh so here uh, so if a guys wants to go with a private chartered um what's the options will it be the la fortuna from international or would they have to go to san jose okay so they need to fly into san jose or liberia if they are doing their um their own private charter then they will need to check we actually are working on an itinerary right now where the private plane that they were chartering from the u.s is too big to land in 
uh, Fortuna Airport, but we do have our own private plane. Um, that's for a maximum capacity of four people, but we can help you uh, connect with the company that flies our plane and they can give you different options if the plane that you are chartering from the US is too big to land in La Fortuna, which is a local airport that we have here. Perfect, perfect. So how many nights would you suggest to stay in, in Ayara Springs or Garden? Minimum is three nights. I would highly suggest four, really depending on the time of your arrival. If you are coming from El Silencio, you can arrive here quite early in the morning, so it's fine for, with three nights. If you're coming directly from the airport, really depends on the time of your arrival because it, then it's a three-hour drive from San Jose or from Liberia, so it will take away from your enjoyment in the, with the activities. Okay, perfect. Uh, let me see if I have any other questions here before we do. I don't think we have any other questions, but indeed, I mean, that's why one of the reasons I think it's good to just put El Silencio first, to just to break the drive. Yeah. So you have exactly. that as a stop and then go to Nevada Springs and enjoy all the activities what they have. Actually, this is a photo of actually me. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the zip line. And actually, when, they, when you guys open to the six states here in the East Coast, I was just like, yeah, me first, please. Me first, let me go. <laughs> because it definitely was a great opportunity to enjoy um, Costa Rica with no one there. I mean, everywhere yeah. that we go, uh, we like do the zip line, it was just basically open for us. So, with no lines, with no, I mean, so if you have clients who would like to do this right now, definitely it's a good time to do it. That's, that's actually going to be interesting because normally, you know, high season, it gets really, really busy. And sometimes you, have those clients that are ready and willing to travel and they're going to experience a different Costa Rica. They're going to experience a more relaxed, um, no lines, no queues and things like that. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of a, the, a great time to visit. You're going to have all the best from the high season yeah. um, activities and weather and everything else uh, without it. The hustle. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. It was a it was a great feeling just to enjoy the best of the country. <laughs> just basically for it was kind of private. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh thank you so much, Connie, for the presentation, guys. Thank you so much for staying with us until now. I know it was a little bit over time, 10 minutes here we passed a little, but just so you know, like Mexico, Costa Rica, it's open. So keep in mind, uh it's just um as a as a fly uh, protocols, everything was working really well from Costa Rica. I think it was United that we used uh, from Mexico. I think it's even easier. So just keep in mind in these two destinations and keep in mind the Reliant Chateau property. So yeah. hope you guys are ready to book Reliant Chateau. Go around, go around. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you guys for staying here and um, stay safe wherever you are, wear your mask, all of that. And yeah, <laughs> stay cool. It's lunchtime Thank for me. Thank you, now. guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.